Hey everybody, it's Cursing Mushroom here and welcome back to the channel. Today's Destiny 2 video is going to be about the Titan subclass, the Arc Striker class. Now, I get a lot of questions from my friends and people who I play with all the time like, what do you recommend using, you know, uh, what are you using, why are you doing so well and stuff to that nature. And so I thought I'd share with you guys what I've been doing lately and what's been working for me. So let's get right into it. So what most people don't understand is, okay, we're just going to, we're just going to decrypt this a little bit so that way you can understand a little better. Okay. And I've got a lot of notes here, so bear with me. Okay. So I use things based on what I'm doing. So for instance, if I'm just running around, playing around, doing like uh, public events and stuff like that, I will use the bottom node. But if I'm planning on doing anything a little bit more, uh, I guess you could say labor intensive, things with enemies that are a little bit stronger that, you know, some name bosses, stuff like that, like a nightfall or something of that nature, I will use the top skill tree. And the reason for that is the bottom skill tree is really great against ads that are much lesser, the much lesser ads, I guess you could say, the less uh, health or uh, damage inducive because you can just sit there and melee them and regenerate your health all the time, which is nice because that's what I prefer, but it doesn't always cut the mustard, okay? So with the top skill tree, you can use your shoulder charge ability to get away from enemies. You can use it to regenerate your uh, grenade, in which most people don't know it regenerates it quite substantially we're talking like almost a whole grenade from just damaging enemies not even killing them right and not just to mention the grenades i mean you get two grenades which these fucking pulse grenades are out of this can out of this world awesome right now which is which is good let's let's leave it that way um also you've got this what i think most people overlook this here okay so when you when you do your actual super ability you do a ground you can do a ground slam or you can do that shoulder charge now one of the abilities is kind of hidden in there um it's at the top there you can get more damage depending on how high you are now i've done a bunch of testing and optimal you get about 20 percent more damage so i always recommend if you're going to do the slam just jump in the air slam because it's not very specific it says something towards the nature of like uh the higher you are the more damage you do realistically there's a ceiling they don't let you just fucking jump off skyscrapers and kill you know the biggest badass dude in the room it doesn't work that way i wish it did because then i would be climbing up to some crazy places and then procking my super but the best thing i could get was 640 on the ground and 783 in the air you know about 20 percent difference that was about the best that i could actually find data wise now i always use the the tall the, bar the tall barricade um your your refresh time mine is about um you're looking at 33 seconds from a full recharge and then um 19 seconds if it doesn't take any damage if it just sits there it's going to last about 19 seconds now of course if enemies are damaging it it's not going to last near as long but that's kind of some statistics on um, how long your shield's going to last. Now, I always do this with, excuse me, I always rock maximum restore armor sets. And I try to use maximum uh, mobility and restore and then knock that um, other factor down. Because realistically, we all know that resilience is not super, super important. Um, and the reason I say that is because you get more, I'm trying to explain word this the best way that I can, you see a bigger difference in recovery and mobility than you do actually in resilience. As long as you're over the number four on anything, you're good. So I try to keep my mobility at four or higher, my resilience at four or higher, my recovery at four or higher. But um, I do try to get that recovery the highest. So right now I'm rocking mobility four, resilience four, and recovery seven. Because when I'm hurt, I can pop my shield. I can get to a place where I can hide so that way I can heal. You know, I, I take advantage of that shoulder charge and I'll run, jump, and shoulder charge, dash, and try to get out of the way, or as they call it now, seismic strike, and heal myself, okay? So that's very important. 
Now, all of this that I do, I do with the Alpha Loopy exotic chess piece. And the reasoning is, with the Alpha Loopy, it gives you about 20 to 25% health regen, and it's not like regeneration. It's just like a little boost. So if you're at like 5% health, be expected to receive, you know, be at 25 or 30 when it's all said and done after you pop your shield. Now with the Alpha Loopy, it's kind of like a little hidden thing. You can, if you, if you time this just right, you can pop it like at that point where your health starts to regen. Like you've got the red bar and then the white bar. Once it, that that moment before it turns white, that moment where it stops for like a second, if you proc it then, you almost get instant full health because it bumps you up and then it just continues the process of recovery, which, like I said, I run that higher recovery, so it's pretty nice. Um, but this is just how I feel about the Titan Striker. This is what I use. If I plan to just go out there and run a Nightfall or a Raid or something high tier, or even PvP for that matter. I'm going to use the top skill tree, I'm going to take advantage of that Alpha Loopy, and then I'm going to take advantage of my high recovery armor sets. But other than that, guys, tell me what you think about this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, don't forget to hit that little subscribe bar and the bell next to it, so that way you can be notified when I post new videos. Let me know, guys. How do you feel? Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Cursing Mushroom out.